What is going on guys and welcome to another Fortnite video. This time it's a bit different because Epic Games recently released a new update for Fortnite on iOS devices which allows us to play with an MFI controller like the SteelSeries controller I have here. Obviously the SteelSeries controller is a pretty small one, you can see it, it just fits in my hand, it's really small, it's compact, it's portable, it's nice, it has its downsides, I will tell you a bit more to this later. But I would say let's get right into the gameplay of Fortnite Mobile with an MFI controller right after the intro. So first things first, you'll see we're still on the touch mode. You can see that here in the right corner on top, we're in the Europe service and it's still the touch input. So what we're gonna do is we turn on our controller and we go to our settings and Bluetooth and you see the SteelSeries Stratus controller and now it's connected. On the controller itself, you can see that as well. Um, the LEDs are still blinking and now we have one light, only one red LED, which means we're connected. So we can jump back into Fortnite. And when you go into the menu, into the settings, we see the settings are on high, 60 FPS, 100% 3D resolution. And we have this little controller sign here, this controller logo, which gives us different options uh, of the controller configurations. The basic configuration is on limited, which I use at the moment with the SteelSeries Stratus as well, because the problem is you can't uh, push the sticks in on this controller. So usually on a PS4 or Xbox or any other console you play, you can push the sticks in to crouch and or to run. And this doesn't work on this because it's just not supported on this controller. But yeah, we have options. We can also do custom options so we can map the controller however we want it but we have the builder pro as well the combat pro the quick builder and the old school and as i said the limited here you see uh crouch is on the d-pad to when you press down the map is right uh, emote is up and then the inventory is on left so we will go ahead with this and uh, when i go back here we want to save that you still see we're still in touch, but now as soon as I hit a button, you see it switched now to the controller input. And in the right upper corner, we already see Europe with the controller sign. So I would say we will jump right into our first game. And for that, I would say we just uh, go with Team Rumble, because that's probably the easiest way to show you how the controller works in the game, because we have the respawn and yeah, we can use that as often as possible. All right, so we're already in the game and you see everything works. I'm playing with the controller. I have no hands on the display. We can run around, we can jump, we can... Okay, we're in the battle bus already. So yeah, basically everything works just like on the console. And one interesting thing, if you look in the left upper corner, we are not anymore in the touch screen, in the touch input lobby. Obviously it matches us with Nintendo Switch players if we play in uh, this team modes. Uh, a bit later I will jump into another game mode as well and you will see it will also match us with other consoles with mixed input. So it's quite interesting. So you leave the regular lobby of your iOS device and you will be connected to different platforms, which is kind of interesting and probably makes it more competitive. And I have to say this, this works just like on any other console. Usually I used to play on the PS4 and I mean, besides that the controller is way smaller and it's a bit harder to uh, navigate around, it's all the same, you see open chests and stuff like that works just like normal and yeah, it's quite interesting. It really feels familiar, so if you're a console player, uh, this probably is something you 
want to consider to get because you can get this controller for around 30 bucks I think and the bigger brother of this the Steel Series Nimbus I think it's around 60 bucks so if you are on the road a lot then this is definitely something you might want to take in consideration to get and yeah obviously building is now way more easier way faster than when you just when you always have to tap something so you can run around and stuff it's pretty convenient all right that took a while <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm pretty bad on playing with a controller, but yeah, it worked. All right, so let's have a look into another team mode than, than Team Rumble. So. Let's try squads for example. And now you already see squads fill cross platform. So yeah, let's try that out and see what squad partners we get. All right, so, and as you can see, we are in a team with uh, two Xbox players and one PlayStation player. And that's obviously the solution of Epic Games to, uh, all right, Snickel. That's the solution of Epic Games. Oh no, Disco Bomb. And we're dead. Yeah, that's obviously the solution of Epic Games to match the players with each other on cross-platform. So probably they see us as a Nintendo Switch player. But yeah, it's not the worst option. And if you want to play Fortnite on your mobile device, on your iPad or iPhone, then I would highly recommend getting one of these controllers because it feels like playing on a real console. It's really nice and can't say anything bad about it except that this controller is quite small and it's a bit hard to play with it if you're used to the bigger controllers of the Xbox or the PS4. But definitely for the price for around 30 bucks and if you're just a casual player or you don't plan to play that often you will get used to it even though the sticks are a bit small and you can't push them and but it's not a bad solution at all so let's jump into a solo game and see how that goes maybe land somewhere so you can see that that building is way quicker than with the touch input all right and we are in the solo game mode now and I assume we are in a Nintendo Switch lobby because in Team Rumble we were only matched with Nintendo Switch players so I pretty much guess it will be the same here and yeah let's try uh, farm some materials and stuff and have a look at the building options and how far how fast that goes but as you can imagine like I mentioned before it feels just like on any other console on a PS4 or Xbox I've never tried it on the Switch but to me it doesn't feel any different than on a PS4 so let's go down here in shifty shafts see you can switch pretty fast and yeah building works just like on any other console really fast you can switch between the modes on the B button or on the PS4 it's the circle you switch to building and yeah, then you can pretty much use the same building options one press and your wall stands or your ramp stands so that's pretty convenient that's way better than playing with the touch controls all right, so this was a first overview of using an MFI controller to play Fortnite on an iPad Pro 11 inch. This will also work on any other iOS device as long as it supports Fortnite. And I hope you guys liked what you've seen. 
leave some comments if you have questions. I also leave a link to the controller in the description. Maybe I will get another controller and do another video on this one. But for now I would say that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked what you've seen and if you're interested in Fortnite challenge videos, I do videos every week where you can find secret banners and battle stars. Hit the subscribe and bell button to get notified about all these videos and thanks everyone for watching. See you on the next video.